what's up you guys so I am back with a problem my hair is green straight up green like it's not terrible but it's definitely green it's got a greenish tint to it my blonde is no longer blonde it is now green and I don't want to be green so I took a dip in the pool and I washed my hair immediately, of course, when I was out, and it still came out green. Which, a lot of people think that it's from the chlorine, but it's actually from too much copper being in your water. And sometimes it can happen if your water is too hard or something, which we also have hard water around here too, so that doesn't help the problem. But the chlorine actually, like, helps it stick better so I guess in a prevention method you can have wet your hair and even put some conditioner on it to prevent your hair from turning green if you're a blonde or if you have bleached or dyed hair like me see I'm naturally brunette with all sorts of colors in it like red and like parts of parts of blonde. I have like every color except black in my hair, naturally. But now, I have green in my hair. <laughs> I guess you can say naturally since I didn't try to do it, but yeah. So I have two products here, and they are Swim products. They are Swim Shampoo and Swim Conditioner. And I'm really freaking nervous because I have curly dry hair and this hair has been deep conditioned last night I left the coconut oil in it that's why it kind of looks crappy and gross and greasy like I haven't washed it but I can assure you I did last night and yeah oh here we go I don't know how well it shows on camera, but like you can see it there. I'm green. Green. Yeah. So, we're gonna do this. We are going to take the Ultra Swim shampoo, which it says it's moisturizing, but for a curly girl, moisturizing needs like double and triple moisturizing for like a normal normal hair chick or dude and it says removes chlorine and chlorine odor with just one use but if you can see it has a little star there so it's like you know don't quote us on that kind of thing so I'm not really sure it says use after every swim for healthy hair like I talked about before, I also have that detox charcoal conditioner. And I'm really, like, I'm really excited to try that and, like, see what it's all about. I'm not really sure what it's gonna do, but I'm kind of excited about it. So, this is moisturizing formula. Hmm, we'll see. And it says, Gentle moisturizing formula can be used after every swim, fortified with hum humes humes <laughs> I don't know moisturizers, vitamin E and aloe, and it leaves hair soft and conditioned. See if you said like, oh my shampoo has humes scants in it, and be like, is that imported? But like I. I don't really know what that does, but okay. So also inhibits copper deposits and other oxidized metals that can light cause lighter hair to turn green. Kid friendly. Like this channel. Removes chlorine buildup. Releases chlorine bond with hair. Washes away chlorine and chlorine odor. Okay, and the directions are like any kind of repeat if desired. Gentle enough for everyday use. 
For all types of hair, including perm, lightened, and color treated hair. We will see about that. Now let's see what this says. This gentle, enriched finish hair is a vital step for the complete treatment of chlorine damaged hair. Repairs damaged hair, restores lost moisture. Where did the moisture go? Why is it lost? Helps detangle and repair split ends. So are they saying that this is going to cause split ends because like that was never mentioned. It didn't say like help split ends, help split ends. It's like we're going to split your ends and we're going to try to fix it. For added protection against chlorine damage, apply Ultra Swim Ultra, Ultra Repair Conditioner to wet hair prior to swimming. It can reduce the amount of chlorine absorbed by the hair. So for added protection, I always use protection. So remove chlorine odor, use this. Rinse thoroughly, apply this, work through hair, especially the ends, leave on for up to three minutes to maximize conditioning treatment. Rinse thoroughly. Now, if you have curly hair or you have had known anyone with curly hair, you know that they never thoroughly rinse the conditioner out. Oh, I'm not in frame. Yeah, we just never fully rinse conditioner out because it's just not a good idea. It's why, why would we do that? Because it's just gonna dry out our hair. So I am going to wash my hair with this Ultra Swim Duo and I hope that some magic happens. Stay tuned. with the Ultra Swim shampoo and conditioner. It smells really good, but we will see if it's Ultra Fail or Ultra Works For Me. <laughs> so, so far I'm seeing parts that are lighter and back to like a blonde color, but I'm not seeing all of it. Some I'm seeing still and that's not that's not it sis so I'm hoping that it works in it but I don't have a lot of faith in it but we will see 
Also, this is probably the flattest you will ever see my hair unless I strain it. But even then, it's still, it's still trying. Yeah. You know, I did get thinking like, blonde, natural blonde people are actually naturally curly haired too, so they would have to have some kind of solution for this as well. I also don't know if this will work for you if you are having this problem, which probably if you're watching this video or you just have subscribed. And if you have, thank you and thanks for coming along the tip train. <laughs> that was something I made up and it's probably super lame. We're gonna see what happens. It's obviously on longer than three minutes, but it takes a while to comb out my hair and I wanted to record this and talk about it and see, you know, what I thought about it. The smell, definitely good. It smells kind of like a, it reminds me of summer and I think it's kind of like florally and I've got on my nose. And so it's definitely not intolerable. And it was smooth like it wasn't real thick I was thinking it was going to be a thick creamy it was very thin it seemed watery like it almost like was dropped right out of my hand when I put it on so I'm like ooh I don't know how this is going to work but we're going to try it anyway yeah so again I don't have a lot of blonde in my hair I just have you know what was bleached and dyed blonde so I don't know how this would work on a full head of hair. Also, it's tinted green. It's not like full on green. So I'm definitely going to use the back of the bottle instructions and use this as a prevention and see if it works too because that'd be awesome if I didn't have to worry about that because this summer has a lot of, you know, pool parties and stuff like that and I'll want to be out by the pool and in the pool and if this keeps the color the color and shade that it should be that's awesome so I'm gonna go rinse this out and I will be right okay so I am back and I'm just going to take my diva curl microfiber towel and I'm just going to Get that excess water out and scrunch up my hair. My hair has nothing more in it. I rinsed it pretty well, so it didn't really leave much conditioner in it, so God knows what it's gonna do. But we're gonna try. Hopefully it's going to take green out. That's what I hope it's gonna do. It's probably going to dry fairly quickly since nothing's in it, even like excess conditioner but it'll still probably take a minute, you know? And that's how I dry my hair. I never blow dry my hair because that is dangerous and I don't like turning into a lion. It looks less Okay, so I'm still seeing a little bit, but it, ooh, it smells really good. Okay, okay, ultra swim. Let's check over here, since that was the ultimate green. It doesn't look Maybe a little tiny tint on the ends because that was where it was most green. If one wash took care of that, I swear. Wow. I still see a little bit, but it might just be because it's wet. I'm really hopeful. Because if I have to wash my hair less and not put it through hell and back 
and if this is moisturizing and smells good, it's a win-win for everybody. So far, I think we're doing well. I will check back in in a little bit and let you know how this is coming along when it is dry and what I think of the end result. If I'm going to do it again, if it didn't work at all, if I'm going to try something new, and I'm going to show you what it looks like. But for now, we have to let it dry. See you in a bit. So my hair is pretty well dried and there is still some green. Not a whole lot. It took out a bunch of it, but not totally. It still has a little bit of a greenish tint, but for the most part, it's out. So I say Ultra Swim gets not an ultra thumbs up, but a decent thumbs up because it did take quite a bit out. And I think if I did it one more time or something, it would be almost all the way out. My hair does feel kind of dry, especially at the ends, but other than that, I don't have complaints about it other than it didn't take all of it out. So I don't know if this was more drastically green, if it would be back to blonde or lighter, but I can't be positive. But it is pretty blonde, so if someone saw me out or if I just look down I wouldn't be like oh my gosh I have green hair so that's good also my hair is super frizzy and unreasonable because there's nothing else in it so it doesn't look its best <laughs> to say the least so that is me getting rid of my green hair for the most part thanks for tuning in bye guys